Uh, obviously, Colombo Street uh, through here is open. The, the CBD cordons are continuing to be reduced uh, where we can, uh, but not through the middle of the city at this stage, obviously. Uh, the Brougham and Durham turn lanes are completed, and you would have seen more house now in the last week or so has become a different road to that which it was two weeks ago with bottlenecks left, right and centre. Um, and we're doing further road damage assessment in the four avenues. Now, what we're having to do across the city is that we can't get into the big in-depth permanent rebuilds of roads yet. A, because uh, we are still waiting for those same geotechnical reports that we have to have before we can commit to that phase of the rebuilds, and B, because we're still in a live event. So there is still a bit of stuff happening, obviously. So um, we've got to get everything lined up. There's no point in digging up the roads now to put something in and repairing them and digging them up again in three months to put another line of some sort down. So temporary repairs are pretty much the order of the day. And the guys have done an incredible job. They have literally laid tens of thousands of square metres of seal, gradually working around, taking out the bumps and humps. They are brilliant. Up in the hills, we know there's quite a few springs and underrunners that have popped up, and we all know we're living on those Lurs soils. And Lurs and water is a dangerous combination. It's one of the reasons why uh, water leaks on the hills are something that have to be attended to pretty quickly, otherwise they get into the clay and it gets bad. We, we do count on people to report those into us, 941899, but clearly that's a, a very important part of the operation. And there's a, new, a few new springs that have popped up at unusual places. So work's underway in that. Uh, Hoon Hay, uh, Rydal Street, the work out there finally is now getting underway. And uh, St Martin's Road and, and Beckenham, you would have seen tremendous progress made on uh, roads uh, in those particular roads. Uh, Montreal was opened until yesterday, no, Saturday, wasn't it? When we had that nasty little uh, 5.3 and the strategy building, as we heard, started to move. And that meant we had to throw cordons around and shut the thing down again. And that's the environment we're going to be in for a while. Just like, you know, the Orion guys would say to you, look, and we saw we've got a very fragile network. Whether it's power or water or roading or wastewater, it's a fragile network. So we're patching it up bit by bit, making it work again, but it still isn't in the robust state that we want it to be. We will get it there. But first of all, we've just got to get the services out to people and then we can start the process of going back and doing the in-depth um, rebuild. Don't forget the speed limits in areas where there are damaged roads. You can just assume, if you can't see the sign, that that is a 30k uh, area. We are putting a lot more signs around like everything. Suddenly we needed hundreds of 30k signs. So more of those signs will be going around the city. Uh, please encourage people to slow down on the bumpy roads. It's terrible if you live on a main road and you've got a bump outside your house. It makes your life hell. Um, so do what you can to spread the word around that. Buses, you know, are running pretty well. Hallsville Library has uh, had a lot of remediation work. We're trying to get libraries open across the city as quickly as possible. That'll be open before Easter. We know that they're important community centres. And the same with playing fields. Um, we've got massive damage on the, in, in the community structures and in playing fields across the city. But I do want you to know that we understand the importance of getting playing fields operating, mainly for obviously kids and sports teams. It's an important part of community. So it is a priority for us, not quite as important as getting the water and the wastewater working, but a priority nonetheless for our communities. And just a reminder again, uh, your uh, local um, assistance centres for your recovery assistance centres, Sydenham Community Centre, Delta Support Community Trust and Linwood Community uh, Link.